yep, I'm doing it. I'm wearing two watches. But I can tell you it's for a bloody good reason. On my left, I have my IWC, and on my right, I have the new Apple Watch 2 Nike Edition. Look, with a really cool green vault rubber strap. The first Apple Watch I wasn't a fan of because it didn't have GPS. The new Apple Watch has GPS and it's waterproof, hallelujah! So, it's a whole other proposition. Remember there's two editions, there's the standard edition and there's now the Nike edition. What's different about the Nike edition is that it has different complications, which means different faces, and it has a quick access to the Nike Run Club app. I think what we really love is no more taking your phone for a run. So that heavy bulky thing that you have to tuck in down there, is completely gone. So what we want to do is just see just how great it is, what it does, what you need to know, and is it worth buying? How about I shut up, we go for a run, so you can see what it's like. Deal? Great. That old school sound, do it a new way. Took me a long time, but never quit it, no way. And I ain't high nothing, I ain't doing two pays. On my beat flying kicks, kinda like I'm no way. Creating a fiasco, kinda like I'm hooray. up to something my adrenaline is pumping and i'm always making green get it cut like i'm cumping and that's why these blockers fronting because they always on the block and i'm leaving the parking lot across the world and they're not going anywhere my show is very rare i had originally planned to go for a swim after this but because of the blue bottle situation uh i might just stay on shore and well you can use your imagination yeah, the things you need to know about the apple watch 2 are as follows You've got multiple complications on the Nike Edition, which you can flick through and change the face of the watch. Ditch your phone, copy your music to the Apple Watch, get your Beats by Dre headphones or whatever Bluetooth headphones you use, and just take the two of those running with you. You can also schedule your run via the Nike Run Club app. Just tell it 5.30 p.m. or 6.30 p.m. we're going for a run and the watch will remind you. What I have been doing is using the Apple Watch 2 for both running and for functional gym training. So I leave the watch on when I go to the gym, I use the activity app, I just track my heart rate and it tells me how many calories I'm burning. Then on other days when I go for a run, I use the Nike Run Club app. Easy. Make sure your music's copied across the night before or the day before because it does take a while. Really important, make sure everything is working before you go for a run. And when I say working, I mean make sure the Nike Run Club app knows that you're about to go for a run. Sometimes it will give you a message and you're already out the door, you're halfway down the street and it says that it needs you to open the app on your phone. A little bit annoying. This is the verdict. The Apple Watch 2 has come a long way. I find it really useful. I've been using it for about a month now. I do remember to charge it and I take it every time I go to the gym or I go for a run. So for me, it fits perfectly into my life and doesn't get rid of the, the love of mechanical watches that I have. So there you have it, enjoy.